Hi. So we come across many instances where people say that I would first complete DSA and then I would start problem solving or solving problem on online websites. So basically this way would work but this is not the optimal way. Why? Because DSA is 5% learning and 95% practice. So the question arises, what is the most optimal way? The most optimal way is that you first learn the basic syntax and the loops and the conditional statements of a language. Then you move forward and you start solving problems with the basic problems. Like every website out there has basic problems or easy problems or school level problems too. Be it Geeks for Geeks too. So you move to the most basic problem or the problem with the highest solve count. So basically there would be two trajectories that you would encounter. The first trajectory would be that the suppose the question is the reverse the numbers in an array. The first one is you also already know what is array. You already know what is for loop. So you can think of the problem and you can solve it. The next is that you don't know about arrays. So what you need to do is you go out, learn about arrays. Then you see that the use of loops is there, which is already done. So use of loops is implemented now and you learned the new thing that is array. So basically by doing this, you would be learning, coming back and implementing it and using it in a question. So the learning curve would be absolutely great with this one rather than completing the whole DSA. So basically what would happen if you follow the wrong path? Let me tell you that too. Suppose you are learning one day you are learning loops. So basically you are watching video lectures or reading articles. So the first one would be that you are learning loops today. In next three days you would be learning about trees. In the next three days you would be learning about segment trees, Fenwick trees. So basically this path is compressed. Okay. And you won't get to know many things like what would be the size, what is time complexity. So if you don't practice it, it won't be feasible. You would be knowing the things or understanding the things in the first 10 to 20 percent. Then it would start going above your head. Okay, so this is the case with the majority of the people out there. So hope you follow and choose wisely. That's it for today. Thank you.